Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. Today we get to talk about one of my favorite passages in Philippians. And so we're going to be talking about Philippians 4 and 5. So let's jump in and read it. It says, Let each of you look not only to his own interest, but also to the interest of others, having this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus. See, this is a, a passage that is talking about Jesus' humility and the example he set for us as believers. And if we are followers of Christ, then that means that we follow in his footsteps and in the example that he set. And so these verses, especially three and four, really are the, def the definition of what it means to be a servant, to do nothing from selfish ambition, but count more others more significant than yourself. And then let each of you not look to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. Um, this is what Jesus did and how he lived out his life. And that is the reason that we live as servants because verse five is the, the reason why we choose to be servants because it's the same mindset that Christ Jesus had for us. And he is our example of how we live. This is also radical service to live this way, which radical service is one of our core values here at Calvary. But naturally, as humans, we don't want or think about the needs of others. Naturally, we know our needs and want to meet our own needs. But we need that relationship with Jesus if we're going to look outside of ourselves, not be selfish, and to see other people's needs and then choose to act to meet those needs. Um, we need Jesus' love and his character to transform our hearts so that we can be the servant that he has called us to be and live out a, that, that love, that radical service and that radical love that's so rare. Because our culture says, think about you and just do what you need to do for you. But Jesus says, no, like we need to look at other people's needs and meet those needs as well. And it's not that we need to neglect ourselves because we do need to be healthy and take care of ourselves if we're going to be able to serve other people in Jesus' name. So it's not neglecting ourself. It's it says, look not only to your own interests, but also to the interest of others. So it's this idea of I'm going to see and care about other people's needs just as much as my own needs. And I'm going to choose not only to see them and care about them, but then to act and meet those needs. And so whatever we do in our life, we need to, to bring it and start it at home. So looking at this radical service, this idea of being a humble servant like Jesus was just in our home. Think about what would this look like if in your, your marriage you saw your spouse's needs and choosing to then meet their needs without expecting anything in return and just loving them um, in Jesus' name and, and meeting those needs? What would that do to your relationship? Or looking at your parents' needs or your child's needs or a sibling's needs, seeing them as children of God made in the image of God and seeing their need and choosing to meet their need to express Jesus' love for them. It's going to change the way you view the world. It's going to grow Christ's love in you and it's going to change your relationships. And so today I hope and pray that you choose to be a follower of Jesus, reflect his love and his character, and choose to serve those around you and bless them and glorify Jesus. I hope you have a good day.